Hello everybody, today we are going to look at amoebiasis. So amoebiasis is an infection of the intestines caused by the parasite Entamoeba histolytica. Sometimes amoebiasis is incorrectly used to refer to infection with other amoeba, but strictly speaking it should be reserved for Entamoeba histolytica. So distribution uh, they are commonly uh, they commonly occur in tropical countries where living space is compact. People live in close proximity to one another, and poor sanitation also contributes to this uh, condition. Morphology, Entamoeba histolytica uh, can exist in two forms: the uh, cyst form down here, and this is the trophozoic form two forms, cyst form and the trophozoite form. So when it takes the trophozoite form, it is mobile but susceptible to extremes. In the cyst form, it is usually dormant and is a lot less easily killed. It is also immobile. The cyst form is circular and the maturity level is dependent on the number of nuclei. Usually four is uh, mature, one, two, it's considered immature cyst form. Immature cyst has uh, one to two nuclei. So the large glycogen granule, as you can see here, large glycogen granule is present and can be tested with iodine, but iodine doesn't de decolorize. Usually uh, iodine changes from brown to uh, blue-black in the presence of starch. A mature cyst has four nuclei. So now let's look at the trophozoite form. So the trophozoite form is mobile and it can move. It moves by projecting its finger-like pseudopodium, pseudopodium uh, exhibiting an amoeboid movement. The ectoplasm has a refractile appearance. This is the ectoplasm here, has a refractile appearance. Ectoplasm is from Greek, ectos meaning outside and plas meaning uh, something being formed or molded. Uh, endoplasm has a, the endoplasm here has a very granular uh, appearance. So endoplasm is, usually, is the inner granulated part of, of the cell's cytoplasm. So within the cytoplasm there are vacuoles uh, containing starch in the trophozoite form. So it usually decolorizes uh, iodine, uh, turning it blue-black in color. Life cycle of Entamoeba histolytica. So the mature cyst is ingested, and it, the mature cyst, undergoes existation, uh, meaning it exits the cyst stage in which one trophozoite uh, with four nuclei emerges. The trophozoite with four nuclei then undergo a three consecutive cellular division which results in the production of eight trophozoites. The trophozoites then uh, the trophozoites then migrate to the large intestines they migrate to the large intestines and undergoes binary fission and encystation they enter the cyst stage occurs in which an immature cyst is produced. So infection, infection is through the consumption of contaminated food and water, those uh, contaminated with stools. Vegetables planted with contaminated stools, which are used as uh, alternative uh, fertilizers. Anal oral contact with an infected person through uh, sexual activities, uh, such as uh, rimming is also possible. Incorrect hand washing. In cases where children do not uh, wash their hands properly right after using the toilet. Symptoms of amoebiasis. Infection is normally contracted by ingesting food or water contaminated with amoebic cysts. These parasites then cause the formation of ulcers in the intestines. This is a uh, picture of uh, uh, a histological uh, representation of an ulcer in which uh, part of the mucosal area has been sloughed off. This results in amoebic dysentery, 
uh, maybe dysentery is uh, inflammation of the intestines caused by a parasite, bacteria, or protozoan, and in this case, it is a parasite, Entamoeba histolytica. In very rare cases, amoebiasis may cause abscesses in the lungs, liver, or brain. So abscesses are actually uh, swollen areas within body tissue containing pus. Treatment of amoebiasis. Treatment depends on the severity of the infection. Normally, uh, metronidazole is given orally, but if you are vomiting, medication is usually given uh, intravenously until you can tolerate it all orally. Anti-diarrheal medications are usually not prescribed as they can worsen the condition. With that, I thank you.